you will long offer the prayer of meditation. God of love, God of forgiveness, Father who helps at dawn, because of this filth the sinner who has 10,000 evils in his heart because this pasture is fake and has blocked the blessings of the saints without me realizing the sins of the heart and the flesh even the sins of the heart 10,000 evils come out because of this sinner the saints aren't doing well. Please have pity on me. May we only love God the Father and to receive your promised blessings. Help us not to just sit here and to go through the motions but to either repent or go home and sleep. This is not a place of self-discipline. May no one be a Pharisee who only goes through the, the motions. If Help us to realize if our lives don't give profit to others, and which is evil, but to be led into the right way. Help us to realize that we have to die by baptism. All this time we were fake because we didn't have faith. Help us to confess and to be forgiven. If we have faith but aren't baptized, then we're fake and we can't receive salvation. So help us to be baptized. Help us to be forgiven of pretending to know when we only knew with our heads, but for our actions to change. What place is this? Where it's a place of your love, where your blood was shed. If I do well, my children do well, then we can be patriots and we can give profit to others. What problem is not being released? Help us to be wise and to firstly have that problem released. We believe that this will be fulfilled this dawn. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Today there will be a great blessing. Let's say together, sheep. Why is it that I'm not receiving blessings? Please realize, if you're not receiving blessings, it's because you're either a slave to your flesh or you're a slave to your thoughts. Something is wrong. So you either have greed where if you receive something good to eat, you give you, it, you keep the good for yourself and give the bad to others. So just say you have two apples. You eat the good one and you give the bad to others or your neighbor or your brother. Then that person will be ruined. And yet people don't know. They don't realize that it's their actions that make them ruined. Yet they don't know. People who don't do well, that's what they do. They only seek their own profit they won't do well. So what, what, how should we live? If you're not doing well, you don't have faith. Still, you don't have knowledge. So don't be detestable and act as if you do know. If you truly know, then you can see why someone else isn't doing well. So you have to do well first to make others do well. But because you don't know, you end up ruining and harming. And you think that you're doing the right thing. So what life should we be living? Let's find Philippians chapter 2, verse 5. Okay, in order to do verse 5, we have to be doing verse 4. So let's read verse 4. But even though I say this, it's useless if you do not change it to actions. It's so pitiful. So our lives, it's not just this, but I have to know properly to, to teach others properly. 
So if you do know properly, then you should be doing well, but you're not. That means you don't know properly. So if you're not doing properly, how can you help others? That's not faith. Why is it like that? Because you don't have Philippians chapter 2 verse 4. Let's read it together. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. Amen. So when you hear God's word, don't finish it there. You have to make it mine. Don't just do it once, but you have to continually hold on to it. Why is it that you keep getting difficulties because you don't do this? So you get the difficulty in order for you to do this, and that's when you know properly. So whatever you do, someone who knows the correct way to do it, they will succeed. But if you do not know correctly, then you cannot succeed. What kind of person am I? So verse 5, to have the heart of Christ Jesus, well, in order to have this heart, you need to be able to do verse 4. So the, so the heart of Christ Jesus is to repent of yourself and to look at others and repent. So if you are sick or if your business isn't doing well or your children are disobedient, that's why he puts those things in front of you for you to realize. So you think that when you're sleepy, if you sleep, then you won't be sleepy later, but you actually end up more sleepy. When you're sleepy and you don't sleep, then you don't end up sleeping. So you look at people who keep falling asleep. They sleep more than five hours a day. Even though they sleep that much, they still fall asleep. You know, if you only sleep one or two hours and then you don't sleep, then you can't actually sleep if you experience this. So if you follow after your flesh, you become someone who's always falling asleep. Someone who loves their flesh. Because of their lusts, they, they're stubborn and they they hinder others because they can't do things properly. For example, if they're doing the laundry, they can't wash the clothes properly. They don't rinse the, the soap water properly. You know, they, they put in the soap in a, in a lump and it comes out in a lump. So you look at their actions, you know, all, their, all the work that they do is like that. So s suffering is good, but it has to be inside of Christ. If you suffer outside of Christ, you become a filthy person. So you look at people who cause problems. They suffer so much. If you suffer with evil, they, they become worse. People who don't suffer, they're, they're ignorant, they don't know anything. So what should we do? We have to look out for ourselves and look out for others. And repent. That is the heart of Christ Jesus. That is faith. That person gives profit to others. Why is it that we can't give profit? Because uh, why can't we succeed? Because we don't give profit to others. What is faith? To give profit to others. Why can't you give profit to your spouse or your family? God says he will give us all good things. But there's something that I'm doing wrong. What is it that I'm doing wrong? I don't look at myself and repent. And I don't look at others and repent. So that's not the heart of Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 verse 4. Let's read it again. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests. But also for the interests of others. Amen. So to overflow with joy is faith. You know, people want to live joyfully, but it is the gift of God. Romans chapter 15 verse 13. He gives faith as a gift, but to live joyfully, you have to look out, you have to look towards yourself and to others. Why is it that people don't want to work with me? Why is it that they won't? 
share the mysteries with me because you're wicked but I'm not wicked you say that you're not wicked but others see that others see you that way that's why they won't speak the mysteries to you but you can't realize yourself why is it that that person doesn't speak the mysteries to you and won't and won't have fellowship with you the you look at the young children in the back who hates them everyone likes them but because I'm an adult because I have so many thoughts and theories that's why we don't go close to them today let's humble ourselves let's look towards myself and find joy by the blood of Christ I have to die that's when the joy of God appears if we live with joy who hates us everyone waits for us what am I like why don't I have joy because I'm still tied up to demons why is it that we haven't found the joy of God because we don't have faith what is this faith it's to have the heart of Christ Jesus which is to look at myself and to look for others it's not to throw the stone but to repent to look at someone who doesn't know but acts as if they do and to repent if you do know properly then even if you're empty-handed you should be able to do well if you obey which is faith then whether you go in or whether you go out you should be blessed that's Deuteronomy chapter 28 but if you're not doing well in anything don't why are you pretending that you have faith and why are you being deceived so today let's love God the more you aren't doing well the more problems you have why because you have to repent of those things to change them to joy to change them to blessings so because you're not doing well that's why in order for you to change why is it that that person's being released because they've changed it to joy someone who lives with joy they they know because they know when they teach others they teach them correctly what kind of person am I am I doing well or not if I'm not doing well then I'm evil I'm someone who hasn't found joy when does God give joy when you know so someone with a lot of problems you need to realize that you are evil I have nothing to do with God I don't know how to look towards myself and I don't know how to look at others and repent wherever you go if you suffer a lot and you're and you're cursed a lot and you're called you already you know why that person's calling so for example if there's someone who every time they wake up in the morning they have a drink of coffee then if you don't know if they've woken up or not and they call you already you take the cup of coffee because you know that that's what they do every morning so that's what knowing is you say that you know God you know that he's the the Holy Trinity but why is it that you don't receive help that means you don't know so there are people who who don't know who act as if they do that's the problem a lot of people who say they have faith do that why because they don't look to themselves to repent this is not a place of self-discipline it's a place to change and to receive blessings to receive all joy and all peace to do more well tomorrow to have to have hope but you just sit here and fall asleep and and which is self-discipline then you should just go home and sleep we need to do well properly so Philippians chapter 2 verse 4 to look at ourselves and to look at others which is to find all joy and all peace so what is that verse 5 that is the heart of Christ Jesus which is verse 3 to see others as better than yourselves verse 3 4 5 let's read it together
Do nothing from selfishness or empty conceit, but with humility of mind regard one another as more important than yourselves. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. Have this attitude in yourselves, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. So, you look at people who don't succeed. They don't even know properly, and yet they won't teach others. You look at people who don't do well. If they're doing something, you ask them what they're doing, and they won't tell you. They think that they know something. In the end, it's not even right, but they won't tell you. That heart is a heart of ruin. So verse 3, so whatever you do, you shouldn't do with, with conceit or with boastings or with arguings. But you ask people who they won't tell you, they, someone who can't smile, someone who, someone who can't smile, that's, that's their action, that's their heart. They choose the things of ruin. They are truly wicked. Even if you're not asked, they should say things freely. But even when you ask them, they don't, they don't tell you. That person can never succeed. So that person will always want to argue. And they do things out of wanting to boast of their names, which is the conceit. This person can't do well. If they could fix this, then they would be useful. But no, but because they can't, they're useless. So if you, if you know something properly, even if someone doesn't ask, you should be able to tell them this is the way you should do it. That means, that means later people will look for you. But even if you're asked, you won't even answer. That is a wicked person. There are, I see there are many fakes like this. So Numbers chapter. 14 verse 11 to 12. Let's see. Let's see how far you'll go. How much you'll suffer. And then they are truly filthily cursed. Luke chapter 6 verse 38. Those who give are blessed. Why can't you give? And then they pretend they're not. When they do things by themselves, they're fine. But as soon as you put someone else, they argue. If you argue, your family doesn't do well. So someone who, it seems that at the beginning, when they're doing it themselves, they do well. But there are people who, as soon as they have to do it with someone else, they argue or they leave. Their families are a mess. Why? Because they don't see others as better than themselves. Whether it's with arguings or with conceit, that person cannot be humble. They do not see others as better than themselves. They always scorn them. Be most people who have learnt a lot of, a lot of learning um, lies, which is only good for evangelism, they're mostly like this. So you look at people who don't do well, they can't escape from this. Even now, here, you and I, we can't escape from this. In order to do this, we have to look at ourselves and we have to look at others to repent. But you don't know how to repent and instead you self, you self-discipline or, or you fall asleep. Because your thoughts are outside of Christ, you are evil. But you're deceived by your ancestors demons so you can't do well why why do that god says that he will help us at this time why are we doing the things where we can't receive help so someone who's sitting next to you if they don't say amen then they they're so stubborn and they're a Pharisee because they scorn God's word so they have so many excuses and they have so many doubtings and they think that they themselves are the best and their spouse relationship they never say that I am 
I am the bad one. And in front of others, they cannot say that I am the wicked one. Those people, they keep their mouths pr closed and pretend they're not. That person is truly wicked. You think that not saying anything, that they're good? That person who sits there, not opening their mouth and not saying anything, they're truly wicked. They love to boast of their own name and they see others as not better. They see others as worse than themselves. That's why they won't say that in front of others. And they expect to do well. Why? Why aren't you doing well? Because you're not doing according to this word. Let's read verse 4. Do not merely look out for your own personal interests, but also for the interests of others. So why do we have to look at ourselves and others? If we repent, then God will give us all joy. Why do we get joy? Because we have knowledge. Because He comes inside of us. That is faith. That car that someone bought me, it's the best car in Korea. If you put in engine the engine oil in there you never have to change it that's how good it is but someone had changed that to a cheap one so that the car doesn't go well anymore so if you don't know if you're ignorant then you ruin other people I mean that oil never had to be changed so if you don't know you should find out if you don't know you shouldn't do it you say that you're helping others but that's because you're stupid and and you only learn one thing and you use it anywhere so it's like you say you're gonna fix someone's back but you end up killing them you know breaking uh, fixing someone's back is not as important as saving that person so it's the ignorance of acting as if you know. Why? Because you don't have joy. Knowing only one thing is stubbornness. If you know many things, then you realize how much you don't know. So the more that you don't know, the more you depend upon God. So someone who knows one thing and acts as if they know, that ignorance is stubbornness. That stubbornness is not repenting. Romans chapter 2 verse 5. So someone who is ignorant is so stubborn because of the one thing that they know. So if you want to talk to that person, they're like beasts, so you can't converse with them. So just because you know one thing, don't be in the state of thinking that you know all. What is faith? Faith is joy. Joy is knowledge. So whenever a problem happens, then you have to repent so that you know. You have to receive joy in order to know. So what's the sign that you haven't repented? You say, oh, you're worse than me. Instead of saying, I'm worse than you, you say, you're worse than me. That's where the problems happen. That means there's no love and it happens with, instead there's arguings and conceit. You know, spouses who don't talk to each other, they're, they're wicked because, you know, they say that they're well-mannered, but So why do we live like that? Because we don't look at ourselves and we don't look at others to repent. If you scorn others, who's going to like you? So verse 5. The heart of Christ Jesus. Let's read Philippians chapter 2 verse 5. So to have this heart of joy where you look at yourself and you look at others and you have joy and like a child you always smile so that's the that this attitude 
in yourselves which was also in Christ Jesus so if you smile you eat the best of medicine and you give profit to others why aren't we living like this oh because our spouse relationship isn't good well of course that's because you're like that so which spouse would like you So those deacons who are ignorant, I ask their wives, I say, um, do your husbands not talk much? And they say, yes. That means their ancestors, filthy evil has come down. You know, if someone doesn't talk, you think, oh, they're so um, well-mannered, but they don't realize that that's going to hell. So it's because you, it's because you're, it's not because you're ignorant, but it's because you haven't repented that you have stubbornness. Romans chapter 2 verse 5. So someone who isn't stubborn is someone who's repented. Why? Because if you repent, you quickly realize and you quickly say, I'm the one that did the wrong thing. And that's why these spouse relationships who don't even talk to each other. You know, my wife, she, she, she rebukes me and then she goes and eats and she rebukes me and then she smiles. You know, I repent and I quickly say, I'm the one that did the wrong thing. After you repent, that's what comes out. God gives you all joy. If you repent, you have all joy. So wherever you go, whether it be your workplace, if you say, oh, let's see what happens to you, then you're the one that gets ruined. But if you say, I'm the one that did the wrong thing. But then if you don't repent enough, then you say, well, yes, I did something wrong, but you did something wrong too. Why? Why pass it over to them? I should be filled with joy. So you repent a little and so you say, yes, yes I'm wrong, but you have something to fix too. So in the end, you don't see others, people's things as yours. You don't follow the Bible. It says in the Bible that you need to look at yourself and look at, look at others all as your selves. But because you don't have the heart of Christ Jesus, because you don't have faith, that's why you don't do well. Today, let's do well. So other people's are mine. Mine is mine. That is the heart of Christ Jesus. Romans chapter 2 verse 5. Why are you stubborn? Because you haven't repented. Why is it that that person, once they get angry, they won't turn back? It's because they haven't repented. If you repent, you become so you become so soft. So we have to take out the stubbornness because that is not repenting. Let's read Romans chapter 2 verse 5. But because of your stubbornness and unrepentant heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Amen. So my personality can only be changed by repentance. So to look at myself and to look at others and repent. So. God helps at dawn those who repent. Acts chapter 20 verse 21. Let's read it again. Romans chapter 2 verse 5. But because of your stubbornness and unrepentant heart, you are storing up wrath for yourself in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God. Amen. So whatever problem comes to me as soon as one of your problems is solved another one comes 
you need to realize oh another blessings come so that I'm overflowing with joy that's the heart of Jesus Christ that's the heart of faith that's where things happen according to your faith may all the saints of Busan First Church be victorious let's say to the person next to us please do well we need to do well now that's what God does he says surely receive blessings Hebrews chapter 6 verse 14 so today again God wants to give us blessings so he gives us difficulties so we either have to be hot cold or hot but we have to know to be to be clear so let's do more well let's say to the person next to us we will do more well we will do more well so those people who were were sleeping they now they don't know what we're talking about so let's say for those people still we will do more well still we will do more well so when you go to the beach the stones there at first are sharp but as they keep getting rolled they become rounder so we will do well let's all pray Lord we know that we have to receive the gift of faith but this faith is all joy all peace we have to see others as more important than ourselves so then why is it that we don't even speak to our spouse but we sit there unrepentant and stubborn why is it that we don't speak with our neighbor and just sit there from now help us to throw away the arguings and the conceit and the pride and the unrepentant stubbornness and to say I'm worse than you and to ask for forgiveness so that our spouse becomes one our family becomes one Jeho Jehovah's blessings he says receive as much as you have faith it will happen according to your faith so help us to be satisfied help us to give profit and to receive the blessings of a king in Jesus name we thank you and bless Amen